Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood and today's topic is Some say you are crazy. That's our daily mood for today, right? Yes, beloved son of God, beloved daughter of God. Let me tell you, you see, when people have you in a jar, right? For example, in this, right? They place you in this and they say you have to stay in a this and that they mean say you have to stay in a this. They now go see you beyond beloved they now go look at you beyond they may go have you in a, a box beloved they may go have you in a container beloved right that is covered up that is sealed up beloved right yes so people who you might know from your young child right yes growing up i know that god is working in your life god open your eyes to see a lot of things you know that was not known to you right and you know people seeing that right yes so they have you basically in a box same way because they can't envision you outside of that box that they place you in out of that you know outside the jar that they place you in because that's where they place you at so they're not gonna look to see you beyond it because they already make up their mind and decision about you beloved of who you are beloved right of what they place you as as what they conceal you in beloved right so know that god is working in your life god change up a lot of things god flip the switch and turn around a lot of things in your life beloved right yes it's like they are saying to themselves that you are crazy but I want somebody to really get it in their spirit today that you are not crazy, right? You are not maluku, beloved, right? They place you in a box and that's where they want to see you. They want to see you same way in that box, not moving, beloved, not coming out of the box, right? Yes. So because they have that mindset of how they view you as, of where they left you at, they want to see you same place in that box, beloved, right? Because them can't look beyond it. They don't have a vision beyond it. So they place you in a box and that's where them say you're supposed to be. And now that your life has been changed drastically, your life has rearranged by God drastically, right? They can't envision that none at all. So the first thing they will say, beloved, because guess what? They are working with the evil ones. A lot of people work with the evil ones, beloved. Right? Yes, so they come at you with the poisonous words, with their venom. And they will say that you are maluku, that you are crazy, beloved. Because guess what? The evil one working through them. So when them come and them say that you are crazy, then you start questioning yourself. Right? You start think, boy... Is that facts? Is that reality? But I'm here to tell you, beloved, it's not facts. It's not reality, beloved. Because they consider you to be in a particular box. And because you are no longer out of that box, you find your way because God is walking with you. God is in your life now. God flip up a lot of things in your life, change up, rearrange everything, scrumble up everything now, crush up everything in your life now. And God say, listen, you are my son. You are my daughter. You are mine. You belongs to me. You are chosen, beloved. Right? Yes. The serpent can't get it in the spirit because they already envision you to be in a box. They already say that that is where you're supposed to stay in that box, beloved. So then can't see beyond. Right? So the first thing they might go come and say, you are crazy. Trying to, you know, make people look at you in a different way. And that's what the evil one does. You know, trying to sow some poisonous seed in your life. To say that you are maluku, that you are crazy. Right? So when people can't get at you they're trying different schemes and tactics to come at your beloved right and that's the reason why they are saying you are crazy but i'm here to tell somebody today 
you are not crazy all right yes continue to allow the holy spirit to work through you try to look at yourself the way god see you and don't look at the way people have you in a box the way they place you in a box and say that is where you're supposed to say stay that is who you are that is what you're going to be forever right yes look beyond look at how god see you magnificently look how god see your worth and your value look how god love and adore you beloved right yes all right yes so don't let those serpent words planted into your spirit into your heart into your mind into your thoughts that you are maluku that you are crazy because you are not what i mean by that well according to second corinthians 5 verse 13 and it says if we are out of our mind as some say it is for God if we are in our right mind it is for you how powerful that scripture is do you get it in your spirit beloved son of God beloved daughter of God hmm? you want me to read it back over all right second Corinthians 5 verse 13 and it says if you right are out of your mind right as some say it is for God, beloved, right? If you are in your right mind, it is for you, beloved, right? So what the scripture is basically saying to us, it is saying to us that when it commands to you, right? Yes, you know, people will say because the way you view things now because god flipped the switch and he arranged everything he crumbled up everything now so you're seeing life differently so people are still living in darkness and that's facts right yes because you know when god you know unveil things to your beloved son of god beloved daughter of god you see life differently so people are not seeing that because they're still living in darkness and while they're still living in darkness beloved they can't see what you see they can't see what you see beloved right so they will say that you are out of your mind right yes but as some say it is for god right so you are out of your mind for god right yes and if we are in our right mind it is for you beloved right it is for you it is for yourselves right because god have unveiled things to you you are no longer living in darkness in total darkness beloved right people are going to say that you are out of your mind right yes because they already envision you to be in a box and this is where they want you to be this is where they want you to stay right they want you to be planted in the box and not come out of the box beloved so the first things they're going to say when they use those poisonous seed right trying to plant in your life right those venomous words right yes and they will say that you are out of your mind that you are maluku but i'm here to tell somebody today right yes continue to let god guide you right yes and know that you are strong in christ you are strong in god right yes and don't watch what others say about you beloved because that's not who you are right yes because they are still living in darkness they're still blinded by the truth their eyes the scale of their eyes has not fallen as yet so they're going to view you as someone being a box and they are going to say that you are crazy but I know you are not crazy. God knows that you are not crazy. So don't believe those lies of the serpent, beloved. Don't believe those venomous words, beloved. They're not true. All right? And I want you to read this wonderful scriptures of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 13 for yourselves. Meditate on that scripture and apply it in your life. And beloved, when you read that scripture right ask yourself what am i reading in second corinthians 5 verse 13 saying to me about myself 
right? What am I reading in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 13, right? Saying about God and how can I use 2 Corinthians 5 verse 13 to help someone else, to uplift someone else, beloved. I pray of a wonderful and blessed Monday. And I pray that your week will be beautiful. All right. Yes. Continue to share the word of God, beloved. Don't be afraid. All right. Share this video with others, you know, because each one teach one to uplift and encourage. Right. Yes. One love, guys. Blessed love.